What's going on ladies and gentlemen, Noisy Boy here and welcome back to the channel. In today's at Neo 2 Tips and Tricks video, I'm going to show you guys a pretty sweet spot to farm Amory a pretty damn early in the game. And when I say early, I mean like the second region. But before we get started guys, remember if you have been enjoying these tips and tricks series, remember to smash the like button because it really helps out the channel. If you're new, feel free to subscribe because I'd love to hear feedback and your comments in the comment section below. And obviously the submission we're going to be picking right now is the Shifflings Wise Jud Judgment. It is only level 57, you don't have to worry about Kodamas and all that kind of stuff. Um, of course you can use Sakes if you want to, or even um, the Extraction Talisman as well. I'll just go find these Sakes. Just these ones here, I know I've got plenty, um, but these, pretty much these tips and tricks are just going to show you how much you can earn. Just even without using Extraction Talisman and the Sakes, so you can always earn a bit more from this video as well. Oh, wrong place, I was just about to go to the, I thought I already had it, but I don't. It's over in the Omnio tree. I'm almost there. Extraction talisman, as you can see here. We need the mystical items that allow you to what's it say? Steal and read from enemies hit by your attacks. Sorry guys, I'm actually pretty far away from the TV, so. Anyway guys, obviously you can see here it is a soaring region, so it is actually quite easy. So uh without further ado, let's get this shit started. Now in this particular quest you can actually pick three different NPCs to come with you and help you, but of course, if you have um, the Sneak Thief scroll, which renders you invisible, and if you also have, oh not that one, it's, uh, I think it's Catwalk something, isn't it? Yeah, Catwalk 1, you know, your your steps are actually, you know, lighter and all that kind of shit, so having those two will definitely help in this, but if you don't, you don't really need it. Also, Tiger Running Scroll, that's probably the only thing I suggest that you do have in this. Um, as you can see, there's Tokuchiro. There's a guy just behind me as well, but we want to actually take on old oh, Turtle Man down the bottom here. Oh, not him. Old mate here, you want to take this guy with you. Bring him, sorry, I was sniffing a lot and all that kind of shit now. What you want to do is just kind of just get him to assist you and don't actually worry about him too. You don't really need him. I um, mean, just need to get through this place as quick as possible. So I've just actually put on my Tiger Running because I didn't even realize I didn't even have them on. As you can see, they've only got two. You probably only need two. You could probably get through this just by getting one, but we're just pretty much going to run past everyone, which is why I was suggesting that you bring the um, the cat scrolls and all that kind of shit as well, and the sneak scrolls, sneak thief scrolls, all that kind of shit. So, of course, you don't want to go down this way, but you can. Ah, uh, going the wrong way, my bad. I'm going to go straight and just pretty much run past everyone. Now, I know in the past, if you have been watching my channel, when my tips and tricks videos, you do know that I don't suggest running past anyone, but obviously this is just going to be us running past everything that we need to do. Follow this path as well. Obviously you can run and dodge, but we're just trying to get to the next um, shrine. Oh, close one. Obviously don't worry about, um, obviously don't worry about the other NPC that's running with you. He'll actually reset once you come to this shrine just up here too. So just quickly reset here. And he shall appear. Now that should reset all your enemies back into their starting positions as well, so don't worry too much about that. You want to come past this bridge, as you can see, I'm not having even picked up any of the items yet. You can if you really need to. If you've done this quest already, you should have already done it already. And just pretty much run through to here. Now your NPC should be taking care of that guy, so you don't need to worry, so when you get to here, we can always just buff up. Now when you go into this quest there should be the boss and three other guys. I suggest taking out his three other adds. Um, he's actually one of the guys that you was at the starting point as well. So if you just get rid of him, I'll get rid of his adds first as you can see here. I do suggest taking out the bow dude who's like pretty much right at the back. Oh, this guy's pretty much almost dead so I guess you could take him out if you really want to. Oh, you little bastard. Again, just run around if you have to. Not really too fussed about this, so... Take out him first. And every time your guy does go down, it just takes a second to bring him back. Uh, it probably does look like it's a bit harder than it probably makes out it is, but... This is probably the most resistance I've ever gotten against this. Like, this is only a level 57 quest, I think, when I did it on my Let's Play. If you haven't watched my Let's Play, go back and watch it, but I pretty much this quest is actually quite easy. And then you just have him the boss. As you can see, I'm not doing very much damage, but of course if you have like 
a weakness talisman or sloth talisman or whatever it is you, you've got, you know, and obviously do a lot more damage than I'm actually doing so. So just fast forwarding to the end, once you've cut them down to size, obviously you can see right at the bottom there we had 8,000, just a little over 8,500 at Merida and now we're up to 20,000 already um, and that's just from doing the level. So I've just sprinted through that entire thing without buffs, without sake or extraction. So let's see what we end up with at the end of the day. And then remember this is very early game so it might not sound like much but when you're in the early games it's really good. So that actual level itself was about four and a half minutes, maybe a bit less, all up just to get about 12,000 Amrita. Now it doesn't sound like much, but this is very, very early game Amrita farming, guys. So if you wanted to sneak in maybe another two, three, four, five levels, if you really, really were committed to coming in and doing it, um, this would be the level that I would suggest you guys getting, and that is without using any sake, and that's without using the extraction talisman as well. So you can get at least another 20 to 25 percent more am reader if you use those as well. So anyway, guys, I think I will wrap this one up here. It's actually really, really good getting 12,000 am reader. And if you did enjoy it, remember to smash the like button because it really helps out the channel. If you're new, feel free to subscribe because I love to hear feedback and your comments in the comment section below. I am your host, Noisy Boy. Thanks for coming on by, and as always, guys. Stay noisy.